Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's another great opportunity for me, another great moment where I bring you a prophetic message from the Lord. Um, I always feel elated. I always feel um, privileged to be in this position where the Lord gets to lay a word in my spirit and I in return have to um, relay it to you. To me, it's always a huge honor and a privilege I do not take for granted. And I pray that um, this word the Lord is given is going to uplift the spirit of someone, is going to minister to you in a special way, it's going to... Um, you know, really serve as a word of encouragement. I don't know how, but I know that God is about to minister to someone. So God bless all the first timers. Thank you for clicking on this video. And to all my returning subscribers, I really do love you and I appreciate you every day. God bless you. Hallelujah. You know, when the Lord laid this word in my spirit, it's rather unconventional it's not a word that I'm going to share every day or it's not a word that I've ever shared before. It's something that I've never, something that has never crossed my mind. I have never thought about it. And yet the Lord um, used it to minister to me. He said, they play the dice just to get it. They cast it a lot just to get this thing that belongs to you you know they are certain <clears throat> excuse me unbelievers envy something you carry so much you have no idea they look at you and they really do envy to you it's your everyday to you this is your life to you this is just um who you are but to them it is so important and they look at it like, when the Lord gave me this word, I thought about this particular scenario. There's something I heard, and to me, it wasn't a, a big deal. It was just part of my life, my daily life. And I did not know how much people really wanted it until I decided to give it out and I just um, wrote a post on my on my, my WhatsApp status and I'm like, okay, I want to give this thing out. Um, if this matches your specification, then it is for you. And I saw the rush that got in my, in, in my DM, people kept writing. And people who had not spoken to me for long, people who I thought did not like me because... They felt like I was a Christian fanatic and they started rushing because they wanted it. I'm like, wow, was this very valuable? Because I decided at first I would gift things like that to people I think need. And when I gift it to them, maybe I'll just see them use it once or twice or I'll never see them use it at all. So I, I stopped trying to, I stopped doing that, giving things to people I think they need but rather i give things to people who show interest like they really want this that is why i even made the post in the first place because i needed someone who, who really wanted it when i saw the rush even people who don't talk to me on a normal day even people who like kind of were against me because of my uh, my, my my belief system my christian background I saw them rushing for it and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. And God gave me this prophetic word about Jesus. You know, Jesus was persecuted, arrested, tortured by the military, I, I would say by the military, and crucified by them. Now, they did not, they, they did not crucify him wearing the, the, uh, the garment he had on. They stripped him naked. He was naked and his the, what the dress he had on was so valuable it was so valuable that the people had to 
playing a dice. They casted a lot just to see the person that will, will, will be able to take possession of what belonged to Jesus. Mind you, these are the people who killed him. These are the people who nailed him to the cross. These are the people who tortured him. But what he had on him was so valuable. They did not think of destroying it. Destroying it was the last thing that came to their mind. They thought of how to take possession of it. They thought of how they could own it, how they could have it. How is it that, I mean, this beats my imagination because how would you kill someone and yet you want to take possession of what they have? I mean, this is no ordinary possession. This is something that they wore on them. It is not some furniture or some fixture that does not have any uh, uh, bearings to their personality or to their humanness. This is what they had on. They did not care if Jesus was the, the Son of God or he just, uh, 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 um, you know, he was just making that up. They did not care. They just wanted what he had on him. And maybe it was just one of Jesus' clothes. It was not um, something that he had so much value on. You know, yet the people who killed him wanted it. God told me, there is something you have and you think um, it doesn't really make much sense. You think it is just another thing. But there are people who are watching you and if they had the opportunity, if they had the chance, they would stop at nothing to get it. If they had the, the, the opportunity, they would not let it slide without having it. To you, it might just be another piece. That is how you know you are blessed of God. You know, there are things you don't think are important, but there are people who would kill to be in your position, who would kill to have it. You might think um, this is just ordinary. You might think it is nothing. As a matter of fact, it might, mean not, it might not mean much to you. It means nothing to you, but people are watching you, you and they are in awe like, how come you have this? How come you have this possession? They might not share your belief system. They might not share what you stand for, but they really do um, believe that you are blessed. You might not see it. Maybe because there are more things you are asking from God and he's not given you. And you might not see what God has given you already. You might not see what you have in your possession. It might not mean much to you, but someone is looking at you and they are like, oh my God, you are so fortunate. You are so blessed. And they will do anything to be in your place. They will do anything to get what you have. But God has given to you freely. God has given it and has made it part of your daily routine. Just like that. I pray may the Lord open your eyes to see the things you have that are valuable and yet you don't know it. May God open your eyes to see them so you can value them and place more importance on them even while you still have them. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you.